This story is the perfect conservative story. You know, someone sent me an email uh, talking about how somebody, uh, their buddy on Facebook, has no problem killing Muslim babies because they could be future, uh, they could be future radical extremists. And this guy on Facebook had said to his buddy, like, I don't even want to know about it. We shouldn't even have to know about it. It should just be done. And there's this sense with conservatives that, you know, it's supposed to be about personal responsibility and it's supposed to be about um, taking care of your own business. But really, conservatism is all about denial. It's all about denying any type of doubt that creeps into you. It's all about seeing the world in black and white so you don't have to make any decisions on a daily basis. It's all about rigid rules that don't actually work. That's what libertarianism is about. But when you drill down, they can't uphold these rigid rules. It's about denying, denying, denying. Whether it's you're in a, a public restroom with your pants around your, uh, your legs trying to get a BJ from somebody when you've been anti-gay since the, uh, the beginning of time. Whether it's about denying the humanity of other people or whether it's about denying things in yourself. So New Mexico Governor Susana Martinez, a rising star in the Republican Party, who is so conservative on immigration that she slammed Rick Perry for supporting the DREAM Act. The DREAM Act basically says, if you were brought into this country by your parents who uh, are undocumented immigrants or illegal immigrants, so that our conservative friends can understand what I'm saying. But the kid is born here. Or, I'm sorry, the kid was brought in Five-year-old kid, seven-year-old kid, 10-year-old kid, 12, 14, whatever the age of the kid. The DREAM Act says if that kid goes to college or serves in the U.S. military, they should get uh, citizenship. If they are incredibly productive members of society, either contributing by going to the military or going to college, they should get citizenship. Rick Perry supported it because he had to from an electoral standpoint. And this New Mexico governor criticized her for it. On Wednesday of this week, this immigrant hating, or I should say illegal immigrant hating, governor of New Mexico admitted that her own grandparents were undocumented immigrants. She has acknowledged her paternal grandparents came to the U.S. illegally. I know they arrived without documents, especially my father's father. Think about this. Think about this. She has no right to be in this country, according to every single person who supports her positions. No right. She is an anchor baby's anchor baby. And yet she is pushing the most draconian, the most objectifying, the most denigrating immigrant laws in the country. She is an anchor baby's anchor baby, and if she took personal responsibility for herself, she would go down to the deportation office and say, me first, me first, and my cousins and my aunts and uncles and everybody who was the seed or the, tr the tree of that bad seed. I don't deserve to be here. I resign my governorship and I will personally deport myself. Yeah, at the very least, she should realize she wouldn't be the governor of New Mexico. Of course, she shouldn't be here. According to her own philosophy, so take personal responsibility, New Mexico Governor Susan, Susanna Martinez, and deport yourself. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just classic republicanism. 